So yes, I am a partnership specialist with the U.S. Census Bureau. I have had the honor to work with the Sheikh. As a matter of fact, he will be our guest next week at the summit. I will be there too, but of course he will be busy doing, uh, learning more about the census and why it's important to partner in the community with the Census Bureau. And I will be organizing and getting everything ready so everyone is comfortable and the presentation goes on perfect. So my interest is that everyone in this room and everyone especially from this community respond to the census next year in 2020. We mark April 1st as Census Day, but you shall be receiving an invitation to return the survey by internet for the first time in history. So the importance of, re of responding is that every year for the next 10 years, more than $675 billion will be distributed to states. That's over more than seven trillion over the decade. And it will be distributed, these federal funds, according to the population count. Now everybody who's here from city government knows that very well. But the importance of that is that federal funds are used just about for everything, to planning our cities, okay? Everything for your children's school. And by the way, children zero to five years of age are the most undercounted population in our country. So when we respond to the census, we are bringing monies back to our community for the roads we drive on. Every time we pick up the phone and call 911, fire, police, rescue, that census money, our senior centers, our community centers, our libraries, our schools, city planners use our data to project how the city should be in the next 10 years. It's also about political p power. You know, the census, this decennial, and many of you, have, some people in the community have said, I already got my census form. Well, the Census Bureau never stops working. In, in between the decennial census that we do on every year ending in zero, okay, there's also other surveys that go out, business surveys, community surveys, for other reason. It is, but the decennial census is the one time we take a picture of our country, and it is important that we respond that we say what groups we belong to, what community we come from, because when they count the numbers of our community, then the government listens. Then they go and see what our needs are. So I am encouraging you, and I will be working more with your community and with the Sheikh and everyone in the community. If you have a place or a group that you want me to speak at, please feel free to approach me and have my number. No group is small or large. This is an important message to get it out to the community that we count everyone regardless of, Im of immigration status. And the most important message in all of this is that the census, what you answer on that survey, is confidential for 72 years, protected by our US code, our constitution. Title 44 protects that information for 42 years. All of us are sworn who work for the census to uphold what you and the answers you give us. We are fined $250,000, which I don't have, and five years in jail or both. So we take our, our oath to the census very seriously. Nothing that you ever respond on a form can ever be used against you in a court of law. So please respond. Let your friends know to respond. Encourage them to respond. When you get that first invitation, answer it. If you don't answer the first time, we're going to invite you again. And by the third time, if you have an answer, and it's simple, if you don't want to get on the internet, by the way, you could use your smartphone, you can use your iPad, but if you don't want to do that, there's a toll-free number you can call. Ten questions. It shouldn't take you long. And it is so important for our next ten years of planning, for your benefits, for our benefits in a community. So I encourage you, and you will hear me many more times. So have a great evening, and I'm looking forward to sharing with you. Thank you so much.